good afternoon. I was telling you today, I didn't get to say good morning, slide in the afternoon because the live button changed on me. So, there you go. But it's okay. It's still afternoon. Judy Allen, also known as Nana, will teach me Nana today on Friday. And today we're going to do some fussy cutting and sponging. Those are always fun techniques they can use and sit there and change a project enough to make it really special, all right? So we are using Sending You Good Thoughts, the paper pumpkin kit that Zoe, uh, Zoe was in Florida being a beach bum, but Aunt Jennifer substituted in. We did it on Sunday. We made three cards in our alternative, which we just showed you. And today we're going to make an alternative, all right? So let's go down the hands and let's get going. Let's get going. It's Friday. All right, so these are the ones we made. These three were the kit, and this is the alternative we made on Sunday. So we get those out of the way. We're making another alternative today. And this is what it looks like. If this is, you didn't get the kit, this is what it looks like. Okay? So today, we're going to do some stamping, like I said, and we're going to do some fussy cutting. And I've already done some fussy cutting out of this envelope. We've done some of it on Sunday. And I've got different pieces and components that I plan on using, okay? So let me just set this aside a second. Because I want to at least stamp. So this is actually in the kit. But the thing that I'm doing differently is, is I'm flipping it over and I'm going to stamp it. And I'm looking for my words. And this color came, this, so this color here came, Bermuda Bay came in with the kit itself. I've brought along some other colors I'm going to use, and they're from previous kits, right? I tell you always to save those because you can use them. So I'm going to stamp this because this is sort of going to help me decide what colors I want to use and how much room, even on this thing here, that I'm going to do. Okay, so this one just says sending good thoughts. Okay, just got a little bit of an arch there that I got one go there one. Just a little wavy like with the rest of the stuff. Hello, Jennifer. She's, She's always, always like helping, helping me out. out. I, I like, like it. it. And I'm, I'm going to take, take these words off, too, because it might drive you crazy, crazy that I put these on here. I just want to get some of my stamping done, done just so, so you can see. So I'm just going to put my words on the side here, here, and I just, just easily go back on. on. Hopefully, Hopefully, either yeah, I have them upside, upside down, down or not. Sometimes, sometimes I can tell. It just goes right back over, right? Okay. So on this one here, I'm going to go and finish stamping my tag, all right, and try to get some stamping done. So, so I wanted to put some starfish, starfish here, but I was going to do them in a different, different color, color so I could really see it. it. All, All right, right. Jennifer, Jennifer is there, and she can give me some input today. So here's some previous colors I have from previous kits, Coastal Cabana. And this is the closest one I thought that matched the starfish here. If you look here, it's the closest color. So that's what I went. Because I wanted to put some starfish right here. I was looking to see if I had a darker blue me. And I'm just going to put the starfish right over here, right? I'll get as much as I can. And I'm just going to put them to the side. And then what I want to do was to sit there and put ink around this. So I'm going to ink around this with a sponge, but I'm going to do it with a darker blue, okay? And that is, so I, I didn't go get my small one. I just want to get my big one. Right here, because it was easier for me to grab a hold of. And let me see how it's going to look. Just so you know. So I just put a little bit on the sponge, and you really can't see it right now. Okay, now you can see it. And see, that washes, that'll wash out my sponge. I just have to go run it through some water, and it'll run out. So I'm just going to take this sponge, and I'm just going to do this because my background and all is going to be water, right? So I just, I want some tag, but I don't want it to be so white it sticks out like a sore thumb, right? But I just want to add some color. Cause it's got the whole water thing going on here. And so you can just do that with a sponge. You can easily just do the edges. You could do the whole sheet of paper. Maybe on one of the other alternatives, I'll do the whole sheet of paper for you just to show you sponging the whole paper. And I'm just going to set that aside. Okay? Now, this is what I have. And we're going to use the card stock that we have left over from our kit from Sunday. And so we're going to get this on here like this. And I'm just going to put that on dimensionals, and we're going to build from there, okay? So I have quite a few things that I want to add today. 
And that's because myself, I don't know, if you've been to an aquarium, whether it's at the zoo, like our zoo has an aquarium area, and they have seahorses there. And I think they even have some starfish in there. And then also, you know, I've gone to SeaWorld and some other places that have, you know, a lot of the ocean type stuff and on has some coral in it and everything all. Because when I go to the well, I have gone snorkeling. I have gone snorkeling and seen it too. I forgot about that. I've gone snorkeling a couple of times. But, you know, a lot of my impressions is either from TV. I definitely have not seen starfish when I was out snorkeling. Um, or seahorses. But I've seen them, you know, when I go and visit aquariums and so forth and all. So this is where I'm really getting the six. My, not only myself, but I've got some peeps and friends that really enjoy the beach and the ocean. So I'm just gonna capture some of that. And we had a lot of nice stuff in this kit. And I am just going to just add my coral, okay? I'm just gonna add some coral like this. I'm not gonna put it all down. I'm just gonna use the glue dots that they have in the kit. Let me rummage around the kit a moment because I didn't get those out. Let's see, here they are. So I'm just doing a whole under the water scene here. This is what I'm doing for my alternative. But, you know, i got to put some of it down. You know, I don't have to do it everywhere, right? Just enough to put it down so it's anchored to the paper. And then that way, I'll just go from there. So I'll do it with this one. This is a very big piece. And, you know, you get the whole look. You know, I think it's down oh, there. It is. I can still feel it. see if I could feel the glue dot, but I can. you got to feel the stickiness there. All right, so I'm just going to put this here, you know, because that's just sort of when you look at programs and everything, you see the beautiful coral everywhere. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some seahorses and starfish. And then I have fud did some fuzzy cutting for some extra stuff, too, because I wanted it, right? Because, if you know, all the times I've seen the seahorses, there's always such a variety of sizes. And, and they always have their tail, usually. Occasionally, you'll get to see them swim around and move. But most of the time, they're anchored to some seaweed or the, sea, the grass that grows in the ocean. So, I'm just going to put this one over here. It's just, I'm just giving myself some colorful stuff, right? Okay. Now, I've still got these here. I'm going to go ahead and put this on because this is, I'm going to put this on dimensionals because that's going to give me how I'm going to start laying out my other stuff. Because I've got a starfish I'm going to put on here. i got a couple of seahorses. i got some baby seahorses and I'll show you what I did to get that. Ooh, yeah, i got to get my grass on here too. All right, hold on. I can't get to those seahorses in this yet. That's right. I had this stamp set. So this is in the stamp set and I wanted to be sure... I'm going to try the light green first. I just don't think you're going to see the green. I think any way you go, you're just going to see like a shadow more or less in the background, right? And truly, to see the colorful seaweed and stuff like this on the floor of the ocean, you really have to have a like clear blue water. I'm just going to tuck this aside a moment, see how that's going to look for me. Yeah, it's just going to look like that, okay? So... Yeah, unless you're in clear water with really good light, you know, and it's sunny or something, can you see the different stuff? I mean, for, and I just use this one here. I use Granny Apple Green. I also was going to use the Mossy Green, but you can see even with the brighter green, see how dark it is. So I'm just going to use this. So when you go and stamp on color versus white paper, you got to remember your color is not going to look the same, right? So I'm just going to tuck a few of these in here. I should have done this first, but I didn't. I forgot. Because I get so excited to demonstrate and show you different things. That that's what happens. So I'm just going to stamp a couple more. You know, we've, we've actually been to Canada and British Columbia area before. And the, gosh, they had these long, long pods of same kind of stuff like this. Except the things were like 20 feet long when you put them out of water. I don't know how deep the water was, but when you pull those things out, that's what it looked like. So, yeah, I'm just doing this because if, you know, you go and see the ocean floor in shallow water, clear water, snorkeling or whatever, you'll see that there's stuff growing. 
from the bottom. Even man, I think it's mandrake or mangrove. I don't know. I think it's one of those type of trees. We got to see them growing down in Key West out of the ocean floor. That was pretty interesting. See trees doing like that. Wow, that one. Is. And I'm not too worried about this because I know my my um, tag I'm fixing to put on here is going to cover some of this. Okay, so it's like it doesn't have to be like perfect, perfect, but at least I want to get some of it in there. Okay, because it's all think about what's in the background. Okay, now I can safely get my tag on. All right, I'm just going to put it right here. And see how nice that looks? You can see the blue. It's still blue, so it glows in with that. Now I'm going to add my starfish. But I'm going to stamp it first. I'm actually going to stamp the seahorses, too. Because I just want to give them a little texture. I'm even going to do these little guys. I'm going to show you how I did that. And I'm just going to stamp them. And so they have this, like, looks like bubbles. But I am going to use it to just give texture to the bodies, right? We'll see how that's going to do for us. So I'm just going to do it like this here. See how that looks. I did it in a blue. Oh, yeah. See, it just gives you a little texture, right? Because if you actually saw a real seahorse, you know that their body does have a little texture on it, right? There's not many things that are just a flat color. Or anything. So I just thought that'd be pretty cool to do that. And then we're just going to do the same thing to the starfish, but we're going to actually change colors, right? Now, I have actually held a real starfish before. Actually, when washed up on the beach, and I thought it was no longer living. But when I flipped it over, because it was partially stiff, and partially not and so when I flipped it over I could see it was just barely barely moving so all I did was put it back in the ocean and it did just fine it just needed the ocean water okay so I'm doing this here and same thing here I'm just gonna stamp across it right because we all know if we've ever seen a starfish whether it's at the store bought or if it's a real one they do have all these like these little bumps on them done by just shadowing right that's all we're doing now I'm just doing mine the whole way we didn't do that on Sunday we just did part of it but because um, we we're following the instructions right the guidelines that was given with us but today it's all about creating an alternate and doing what I want to do thank you Jennifer mangroves yes and there's actually two different types of mangroves too one I don't remember if it was the red or the black one but one of them the uh, seeds would drop directly to the ocean floor, which wasn't, I don't know how deep it was, but I mean, it's deep enough you could see it. What's, you know, it's maybe you can go kayaking in, so whatever that depth was. But you could actually see where the seeds started growing a little tree in the water. And then the other type of mangrove, it actually, the ocean carries the seeds away, and they end up landing somewhere else in the waters and starts growing. So that's pretty fascinating. All right, so I'm going to put this up on a dimensional. And I'm just blending. Ooh, I need to make sure I hide my stuff, right? All right, just a second. I'm gently peel this up. Okay, and I'm just going to make sure I get it between everything here so it's hidden. Okay, there we go. Since my card, I really don't want my... And I'm just tucking it, right? I'm just tucking it because if you've ever been seeing the ocean, all everything's just sort of in with the coral. And then what I'm going to do with these seahorses, I'm going to actually wrap... I'm going to actually wrap the big ones, their tail, around the seaweed or whatever I've got here growing. Because that's what, if you saw them, whether in, I doubt it's going to be in nature, naturally, but you might. But otherwise, at the zoos and stuff, you're going to see that they're always hanging on to the grassy stuff or whatever they got. And it's usually the grassy stuff that's swaying and moving. I'm just going to put this here and see how I've got its tail just locked onto here. So I did that. And then I'm going to take this one. I'm just going to move this one over here and do sort of the same thing. Okay. And then I have these little baby seahorses. Like, so they're stamped, right? I could have done more fussy cutting, but I didn't want to drive you crazy with fussy cutting today. I usually do that to people at the retreat. Some of them anyway. And I'm just going to tuck another one in here, right? There always seems to be a bunch of them. And then I really wanted to add some of these little guys. So I actually stamped these 
and what I did is I stamped them on here. This is where we did a punch out a bottle on Sunday. So I just stamped them on here and I fussy cut. So all I did was took my scissors. Now because I've got this blue behind it and all, I wanted to get as much of the white off as it is. So fussy cutting is nothing but doing a cut out really, right? Except if you don't want it to be like smooth, flat, and you want it to have a little bit more ridge to it, then I just sort of wiggle my paper as I cut, you know? So it's not a, like a straight flat cut. And this has got like little ridges on the back of it. I just do it like that, you know, and just move my paper, wiggling it. So it's not straight and flat, and it just gives it that texture. All right, so I'm not going to do that one right now because I've already got a couple of already fussy cut out. And you can see that you can see just a little bit of white. And I'm okay with that because it's really, it's going to be really tough to do anything less than that. So one thing I did is I did at least want to put a couple of these small ones in here, right? Because I thought it'd be really cute to put one right here. And so I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do it on a little dimensional, smaller. So it's got a little height, but not much, right? So it looks like it's just like you're out there in nature. And so that's it. So, oops. That's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to add this little guy here. I think it's so nice when you can see the different sizes at the different places. And that way you still see my starfish I put on here, right? Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and put one on this one. And I'm just going to blend it in with the upper stuff up here, right? Because I can, right? And actually this one I'm going to put in, blend it in with a coral stuff over here that's the same color. And, you know, most of the time they do. They write, they blend in with their environment. And I am sure whoever I send this to will find this little baby seahorse. If they can't, then they just need to watch the video, right? There we go. We're just going to tuck that little guy right in there. Because they always blend in really good. Okay? So there we go. We have our third, or I should say our first alternative away from our Sunday doing. All right? So I hope you enjoyed that. You know, it's always about creating, right? It's all right, always about creating and knowing that you're going to create share and give that's what it's all about so with that if you enjoyed it we hope that you would share it on facebook also check us out on youtube where the you can see the replay and we're also on instagram and pinterest where we'll have photos of it all right be blessed and look forward to seeing you next week with teach me nana and we'll see what techniques and all that we'll do next week and what we're going to create from our stuff in the box all right bye see you next week